Still possible in the early evening hours to catch a stray shower or thunderstorm in areas south of I-96. That stray rain chance really the lone one in the forecast here for the evening. Otherwise, we're back to mostly sunny skies as the sun goes down and then clear conditions as we head into the overnight. The hour by hour shows that here. Again, we head into tomorrow morning dipping into the upper 50s. That's how we'll begin our day Monday. We should manage middle 80s for the highs in the afternoon. Very small chance of a flare-up shower across the area. I think uh, most folks are going to stay dry for a majority or all of the day we'll bring heat back in on tuesday that gets numbers back up to around 90 degrees and we'll have plenty of hot days in this forecast moving forward with increasing humidity too so an isolated storm possible this evening down to 59 when we clear out overnight we start with sunshine monday and i think again an isolated shower storm could flare up monday afternoon in the planner here but it's an otherwise uh, mostly sunny day with the stray rain chance thrown in a high near 85 and you'll see heat start to work in along with humidity heading towards the middle of the week tuesday Wednesday. Wednesday, both hot days and humid, but I think we're going to crank the heat up even more as we approach the Thursday time frame. Overnight lows late in the week, they're going to be running in the 70s, and while most of the days feature sunshine with a few afternoon clouds, we could also get a bit of relief from a flare-up shower or storm that could coast through the area. Once a front blows through late Friday into Saturday, it cools us down back into the 80s for the weekend. A trend will ride into next week as well, but it's definitely going to be the most hot and humid week of the summer so far in our state.